It's Monday morning, the 20 something. <laughs> That's how much I am coherent today. I didn't film at all on Saturday or Sunday because we legitimately did production from the time we woke up to the time we went to bed. And I don't even know why it took us so long, especially because our sales are like half what they've been like any other month from last year. Although our sales has been like continually slipping down, down, down. I mean, it's enough to really get you discouraged about stuff, especially because we've come out with new products since then and we're testing new ones even so. We've actually been toying with the idea of only coming out with new scents every two months, just because in the month of February, we will have hit our 100th scent blend. And that's a lot to maintain. <laughs> Like, we'll still probably come out with a one-off scent every month, but it might be time to start pacing ourselves so we don't kill ourselves. It's not just the art. It's also just producing everything that's new for PR and all of that. Um, but I'm really afraid that if we cut it down that our sales will drop off completely. So I, I don't really know what to do about that. Um, I mean, it's easy to imagine how much time, free time I would have if I wasn't doing Zany Laney. I pretty much had to swear off like doing a lot in different groups because I just don't have time. And especially like this month, I'm supposed to go to the doc, like three or four different doctors about different things that are going on with me. So I don't even know. I didn't even edit this week's video, which the day that you're seeing this Monday, there should have been a video going up today and I haven't had it edited and I won't have time because tonight I have to get everything weighed and printed for shipping. Tuesday night, we're going to go see glass. I then on Wednesday night I might be able to edit. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I I also have other little things I have to do. I don't I don't have the time this week. I really don't. It's so sad because what really what really made us be behind on stuff was that last Thursday night we were supposed to print all the labels and everything but instead we went to a party um like a game night for some people at my husband's work which was great because we don't really have a lot of in real life friends here in Orlando that we can hang with but that one party basically knocked us back about five hours worth of getting the labels done so um it takes a long time to print everything out you know once Marshall does the art you have to print everything out you have to cut it edge it make sure you have everything because most of the time like because now we have different products have different size labels and most of the time we'll end up missing something so we have to go back and do it even though we have a spreadsheet, but that's a whole other thing. We're very organized about it. It just takes time to do everything and make sure you have everything we need. And then, of course, you've got people coming in at the last minute like, I forgot this on my order. I forgot that. And I'm like, nope, hard deadline was Friday night for a reason. <laughs> like, we don't, we don't like people adding on because that's more work for us. That means we have to reprint an entire sheet of labels which we've already worked very hard to make sure that they are in one sheet and then we aren't wasting paper or ink. Um, we then have to get everything out and this is a very small apartment. We basically keep all of our supplies in there. If Marshall has to do a new scent, it literally takes him three minutes to go through our supply of over 230 scents fragrance bottles to find the one we need or the two that we need for any scent. So people don't understand that just adding something onto the last minute is like 
is like 10 times more work than doing it when we when we've been doing everything else so I don't know I'm not complaining or anything I get it I do work two jobs though and I guess I'm just struggling I'm struggling really bad this morning I didn't even put on makeup if you can see all I put on was I didn't even put on foundation nothing I put on mascara I put on like a eyeshadow like one swipe of eyeshadow and then I put on a lip gloss and that's all I can do today because my body hurts so badly <sighs> I go to bed at like, I, I get in bed between 9.30 and 10 o'clock at night. I fall asleep around 11, 11.30. I get up at 7.30. That's eight hours of sleep. And I'm still exhausted. And I have been for like a month. Something's gonna give here, I just know it. So I'm sorry, that's why the vlogs have been delayed a little bit, and other videos as well. We just haven't had a chance to do them, unfortunately. Um, I'm probably why the vlogs have been so short too, because this has basically been our life. I'm like pushing off things that need to happen. And, you know, people are coming to visit in town and I don't have time because we're getting ready for all these cons and all these different things and I'm trying to be okay with it like spending time with people but it's actually stressing me out and like that's sucky because one of my goals for 2019 was to spend time with people and it seems like it's just sabotaging everything we're trying to do so Hello, it's Monday afternoon. I just got home and I wanted to show you what I got in the mail because I haven't really done this in a while and everything seemed to just come today. Um, so I have a ColourPop order which just came. I was part of a party for 31 so my order for that came and a brand new beauty box came which I'm happy to show you at least a little bit of because I kind of want to do an entire video about it but let's start with that first. It's called Kinder Beauty. Everything in here is supposed to be, uh, I believe, vegan and cruelty free. Let me see. This is the first box. This is what the welcome card looks like. And I got five things in here. Um, and it was, I believe it was like 20 or $25. I can't remember. But you're going to want to subscribe and look for the full-on video of this. This is the, you guys know who Luna is from Harry Potter? This is her beauty box that she just started. This is the first one, and I did pay for it myself. All right, let me show you my ColourPop order. Um, they were having a, a launch of their new mascaras, and it was legitimately the last thing ColourPop needed to come out with to do a full face of makeup. Um, so I picked up that and a few other things I had been wanting to try. So I needed another uh, no filter foundation stick because the one that I had been using previously was a little too dark for me. So I had to get another shade, a little bit lighter. And then there was a lippy stick that I really liked the color of that I needed to get. And it's called Oh Snap. That's what the color looks like. It's a little bit darker the normal for me but I've kind of been into this darker look thing and then I got the two mascaras I got black and I got the purple of course um, as far as the black one goes I'm super excited to try this because apparently the wand looks like um, better than sex it does it's like the same one as better than sex or that L'Oreal uh, is it the Voluminous, you know, that, that pink one, the, you know what I'm talking about, that L'Oreal Voluminous, I think. So it's the same one. So I'm excited to try that as well. I don't know how much I'm going to use the purple, but the black one is definitely going into my rotation to see how it stacks up against my favorite Lash Princess. One of my all-time favorites. Also, um, Pacifica Dream Big is my other one. And then I got two of the new Velvet looks in mesmerize and lucky strike those two lipsticks um lucky strike is more of a berry color more like this and 
and Mesmerize is a little bit darker. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of like, actually it's called Velvet Blur, but um, the only thing that I'm kind of like eh about when it comes to these is if you hold them up against one of the regular Lux, for example, this one, this is a regular Lux and this is a Velvet Blur. I can't offhand tell the difference between which one. So it's a good thing that I store them upside down so that I can see that this one does say Velvet Blur on the top the bottom and this one does not. Not that it really matters either way, but you know, maybe it matters to me. Especially if the vel if this formula doesn't isn't as good as the other Lux that I like. And then one of the uh, big reasons I wanted to get a, an order in is because I wanted this before it went away. It's the It's My Pleasure palette, which is all purpley stuff, so it's appropriate for me. Ooh, I really love this. I also have the Ooh La La, which is all the pink ones, and a little purples. So between the two of those together, I think I have a good selection of pink and purples, and they're great for traveling. I love the nine pans when I travel, because I can just put a pink and a purple in there, and I know I have exactly what I need to create a bunch of different looks. So that is exciting on that one. The last thing I got from ColourPop was actually like a bonus from their that skincare line that they're kind of associated with called Fourth Gray Beauty. I got a BFD cleansing oil and a oh a gel cleaner so I don't know how that's gonna be I'm um, okay to try I think and let me show you oops, see let me show you my 31 bags um, thing <laughs> I'm like really hard time talking today okay the first thing I got is called a fold in file I got a lot of these things in their sale section, so I didn't really spend a lot. Like, I I got, like, enough to get one of these. Like, I think if you ordered two items and they were $35, you could get one of these for, like, 10 and it's usually, like, 20 or 25 But basically, a fold and file, it comes flat, so you can pack it, but then you open it up. And then there's a place inside, like, a little pocket, like, on the inside. And then this these places here, and then a pocket here. I got this because I need a place to put my paperwork before I file it, or just like a general mail I will get to area over here. And so I wanted to get uh, one of these as soon as I saw it. This is a thermal pouch. I had one of these, although I think it was bigger than this maybe. I think this might be a different one, but anyway. It, this is what it looks like. It's called Geostripe. It's got a little uh, carabiner on here. And the inside is wipeable and washable. And on the outside, there is a little pocket, just like that. I think this is great to take traveling because if something spills in here, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, I, I had one of these already that I was keeping my Chromebook in, but then my husband stole my Chromebook. So I got another one of these uh, just for me so that I could have it for when we travel. And lastly, this is the Deluxe Organizing Utility Tote. This was like a super cheap price from normal. And I got this primarily for when we do conventions. You can fold it down like this, it's this big. There's a zipper and a pocket is it a pocket? No. So there's a zipper on this side, and on this side is the pocket, right here. And then on the top, it is zippered, which is great, because if it's raining or something, and then a big, big tote. So I want that to take with us to convention so that I can just place my stuff in the bag, but yet it folds down very nicely. There's also pockets on the side as well. That is all my mail today. Um, further things I have to do tonight is I have to print and ship everything for all of my, all of my orders need to be printed and shipped tonight. We're starting to make some decisions about some changes that we're doing in 2019, some final changes. So those are going to be seen probably within the next month or so. So, um, 
Yeah, uh, I, I think, I hope you guys are okay with the changes. It's more for us than anything else. So anyway, I'm going to get to it. Uh, Marshall went to go pick up Corey from work and then we are going to eat and get to our work. We're waiting to watch glass. What do we got? Keep an eye on that branch. And I think we're the only people in the theater oh, waiting okay. to watch glass, right Marshall? I stay close. Morning. <laughs> totally out of focus. Corey is super happy. <sighs> we just got back from seeing glass. I was not a fan. It was like boring for an hour. <laughs> the last part of it was it was cool and you know kind of interesting, but I was not a fan. <laughs> like none of us were a fan really. So I'm sad. However, I'm looking forward to Captain Marvel. That's probably the next movie we're gonna like the next major movie we're gonna see because. Um, also, Shazam in April. I'm excited for Shazam. Um, but honestly, I'm really disappointed that Glass was not better. I really liked Split. I hated Unbreakable, so I was really hoping Glass was going to be better, and it just wasn't. It's better than Unbreakable. Probably going to get a lot of hate for what I'm saying. I think people liked Glass, but... No. Not a fan. It's Thursday, January 31st. It's the last day of January, obviously. I just have to say that I have not been vlogging a lot lately because I have been so busy this week and so tired that I literally come home, try to get everything done, and then go to sleep. And I think the first week of every month is going to be like this, honestly because of all the auctions that I have to get ready for. I am trying to get the stuff ready to be put on the site right now. For Zany Laney and I'm having a hard time. So much in fact that I did not have time to edit this week's vlog at all. Um, so it might not even be coming. It might be like a double blog feature thing. I might just have to shuffle them all out. Um, but the two good things that are happening right now is, number one, I'm getting a lot of good ideas for videos to do. So, um, for example, I'm going to do the Kinder Beauty Box video. We're going to do a, a comparison between Brandless and Target. Um, Brandless is a fairly cheap online retailer. And then, of course, we're going to do um, a couple makeup look videos as well. Um, so those will be coming too. Uh, the second good thing is that Corey and I have decided that we're going to join the choir that my parents are in. It's a large community choir, um, and they do, I want to say, three different performances a year. And so we're doing the spring show. We'll probably do the summer show also, because the summer show is usually like some kind of Broadway musical. But uh, the, for the spring show is um, like a concert more like um but it's called the theme is spectacle so we're hoping they're gonna have some greatest shaman music in it for sure um but it's been forever since i've been in a choir and i just really i need it for me um in my brain <laughs> i just need to do it again now that i can stand a little while longer i think i will be okay so those are some good things that are happening and i'm really sorry i haven't vlogged lately <laughs> Um, I'm trying. Um, we do have some exciting things coming up in the next couple weeks. Just, just right now, it's just too many things to get done. So that's where we stand right now. Yep. It's Saturday night, and I have not really vlogged at all. Um, I got most of the stuff done today. I watched my nerdy flint fuckers nerdy. Bleh. I watched my nerdy Netflixers movie, which was How It Ends. I. Did a little bit of other, like, TV watching. My parents came over. We spent some time with them. And now we're just... Marshall and I are just going to hang out. Because Corey doesn't get off till 9.30. We're just going to hang out. I don't know what we're doing yet. But something. But this is the end of the week. Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. We don't do anything. Because, number one, we don't have real TV. So we don't even watch Super Bowl. So Super Bowl. Number two, we'll probably end up just, like, staying home and doing nothing. As per huge.
when it comes to these kind of days.